Paris in California, you're on the air. Hey, Matt, how's it going? Uh, I don't know. It it sounds like you're someone who's going to try to argue for flat earth without being a flat earther, but I'll let you do it. (laughs) Um, Well, I'm definitely not a flat earther. Um, So I'm, oh man, didn't think I'd be this nervous. Um, So I'm just curious if I could, um, I'm just going to read this to you. And if you like, I want to hear your perspective and opinion about this. Um, Because I've heard you argue with other people who were flat earthers and did believe, but I didn't think they necessarily had any good points. And I'm not trying to prove that the earth is flat. I just don't think that um, the um, that necessarily um, the reasons that you like when whenever you ask people to prove that Jesus exists, I don't think that whenever you try to prove to them that the earth isn't flat, that you're necessarily giving them any better reasons than they're giving you for their beliefs. Well, that's bullshit um, because, no, 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 we we don't even have to go any further. You're suggesting that people's reasons for believing the earth isn't flat are no better than than believing that Jesus is God. Well, there's absolutely no evidence that Jesus is God, and there's mountains of evidence that the earth is not flat, not the least of which is the shadow of the earth on the moon. Right, and then you've also got, the Greeks proved it with basic, go ahead. Um, I'm not talking about um, God's existence. I'm talking about Jesus' existence. I don't believe in God, um, and I'm not really sure whether Jesus existed or not. But so wait, are, just you, are you suggesting? Now, now, stop, Paris. Are you suggesting that you're only saying people's reasons for believing the Earth isn't flat are no better than for the historicity of Jesus? Believing the, the reasons, the historicity. I don't. I have a like my, I, I haven't really studied too much about the historicity of Jesus. Well, what I, are you I, saying about Jesus? So, yeah, what you're you getting me about very Jesus? confused. All right, so, so, so I'm gonna. All right, <laughs> I'm gonna read this and then you just tear it down if you want. That's really what I'm just want to do and just try to make it quick. I really don't want to drag out your time, and I'm not trying to be anybody who's okay. like trying to trap anybody in anything. Okay, like, okay, just, no, okay. Get to it. Like, this is good. already a waste of time. Okay. All right, so there's millions of people who believe in God, correct? That doesn't mean that, because I've heard you ask people that if they thought that the um, the world or people were in on some giant conspiracy. So I said, um, Paris. there's millions of people who believe in God, but that Paris. doesn't mean that they're they're all in on some conspiracy to hide the truth. They've just been convinced. So why can't that be the same case with people believing the earth is spherical? This because is the stupidest a, thing I've heard today. Yeah, they're, they're, and and so, when I just pointed, no, no, when I just pointed out, about whether or not Jesus is God, you said that you had you know, we weren't going to do anything at all with related to God, and then you wanted to read me something. And what what did you read? What are the first words out of your fucking mouth? Millions of people who believe in God. Well, the fact is, we have good reasons to believe the Earth is flat. We have no good reasons to believe there is a God. We have no good reasons to believe that Jesus is a God. Uh, and I already gave you the first one, which is the, the 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 shadow of the moon on the Earth. You can go fucking Google and learn the science that demonstrates that the earth is in fact an oblate spheroid. You, there is no where, where for you to Google and find the science that a God exists, that Jesus is God or anything at all, even in the ballpark of this. This was a complete waste of my time. Yeah, and when the Greeks did prove that the earth was round, um, or really they proved it was round rather than an oblate spheroid, they did it with simple geometry. So you, you've got that. There is there's also the fact that uh, we know there are satellites in orbit that could not be in orbit, would be completely different uh, way to get them up there uh, into orbit if the Earth was flat. We know it because everything we do in terms of navigation, whether you're using a sextant or GPS, doesn't matter. Everything we do with navigation, whether aeronautical uh, or nautical, all ha- the in order for it to work, the planet has to be an oblate spheroid. There's just no other way around it. Not only does it have to be an oblate spheroid, sometimes you have to know what your baseline is because the curvature of the Earth is not the same all the way around. It's not a perfect oblate spheroid. And so you kind of have to know where your baselines are, especially if you're doing land navigation and some other things. There is nothing about our existence, there's nothing about the way we know how gravity works that suggests that the Earth can be anything but some sort of sphere. So where is this same litany of stuff off the top of my head proving the earth is round that you have for a God? 
Oh. He, he's gone. And a minute ago, in the heat of things, I probably misspoke and said Earth is flat instead of you did. You did say flat. that, but I was going to let it go by. Yeah, and technically and, and I corrected it afterwards, so I'll correct yeah. it again. But yeah, and, and technically, the Earth is a geoid um, because it's not even a perfect oblate. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> oblate spheroids good. In enough any for... case, uh, uh, you can quickly Google and find a, a gazillion bits of scientific, no, maybe not a gazillion, quite a few bits of scientific evidence that demonstrate that the Earth is in fact not flat and that it is something spheroidal however you want to technically define it yeah. um not the, the shadow of the earth or, or the way physics works the way we understand about the formation of planets and and um, the accretion disks from suns and how bizarre it would be to have every other uh body uh, in the solar system uh round and and then this one be flat and then you have to uh throw out gravity and the navigation stuff you were talking about, if you look on a globe and you draw a line at flying from, let's say, the, the bottom of South America to the bottom of Africa, that's a certain distance. And we can calculate how long that would take in a plane. If you turn that spheroid into the disk, all of a sudden that strange straight line distance is an order of magnitude further away. You right. couldn't navigate. It's yeah. beyond silly. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, navigation takes into account things like how high you're off of the, if you're doing it by the sextant, um, how high off the uh, uh, the sea you are and things like that, what your height is. And there's some really complex calculations that, that you, well, they're not really complex once you know what they are, but there's a series of, com uh, of mathematics you do to get to the answer of where you are. And all those assume that the earth is round because it has to. Um and when the Greeks did it just by geometry and having, I believe, somebody walk from point A to point B, I don't remember what the two points were, and figuring it out from there. I mean, that's the simplest proof there is. So, 